Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. This time we're going to talk about forms, why we create them, and how we use them. In the past playlist, I've talked about the Northwind database, a sample database that Microsoft created way back in the 1990s to help give us a common place to learn about access. We've talked about the tables, there are one-to-many relationships, we've talked about some queries, and also some reports. Forms are data entry devices, often one of the most difficult parts of the application to create because the forms are for the user. So oftentimes when you open an access database, you open it to a particular form, and that's really all the user sees because that's all the user needs to make their data entries and edits on the database. Forms, however, are one of the most difficult parts of the application to write because they are for the users. As you can see, I'm going through some different sample forms here. They often only show one record at a time. And for example, in this case, I've got the orders form open. We've got 830 records I can see in the record navigation area. And as I move through them, line items for each order are shown. In the products form, this is where we would enter a new product. And as we're going through these different forms, we can see that in a form, typically there's only one record for that subject shown. For example, in suppliers, I've got 29 suppliers. Fields for that supplier are typically in a vertical orientation so that we can really see all the fields for one of those records. Let's go back and work with the customers form and in our record area, we see that we have 91 different customers. And as I move through the records in the customer's form, we can only see one customer at a time. But the vertical orientation of all the controls on the form then allow us to see all the data for one customer at a time, really no matter how many fields they have. Oftentimes when you open up a table, some of the fields for a particular record scroll off onto the right-hand side of the screen. We don't have that problem in a form because we're only looking at one record at a time. We can arrange those fields in any orientation we want. So how is a form created? Well, forms and reports have a lot of similarities. The first thing we need to know is that forms have two major types of controls. Those are the same as in a report in my previous screencasts. Boxes, which is what I'm tabbing through and what I can modify with my keyboard or my mouse, and then labels. Typically the labels are to the left of the text boxes because the labels just have text and are static and describe the information inside the field. So customer ID, company name, contact name, address, city, postal code, and phone, those are all labels. And as I move through the records of the customer's table, we see the data changing in the text boxes to the right. Title, region, country, and facts, those are four more labels. And here are more text boxes. Sometimes we can have a control that displays data that's not a text box, which is this country control. Now that's called a combo box, and it's called a combo box in Access for a very good reason. It's a combination between a text box and a list, so that if I needed to type in a new country that isn't listed, I can type that into the text box, or I can choose a country off the list. We can even modify the properties of that combo box so that if you did not want to allow somebody to type in a new entry or to type in a new entry and add that to the underlying lookup table that contains these countries, you could do that as well. For the most part, forms are going to start with labels, describe the data, and text boxes, display, edit, and enter the data. And I'm often asked, how do we know how to organize our forms? And the answer is in the way that the customer wants the information organized. In Northwind, they're going to show you a bunch of different types of forms and organizational techniques, and you can play off of that and decide what you want to do. Start out with a very simple design, and then I let the user tell me how it needs to change. We used to have paper forms that we would then mimic on the screen, but that's pretty much a thing of the past. Now we typically just design electronically. And so the way we want that form organized is the way the user thinks about the data. And as a tab from text box to text box to text box, or sometimes combo box, enter their data, 
We want it to be very logical and straightforward so that they can do it as productively as possible. In the next screencast, we're going to get into design view of this form and look at how we add those labels and text boxes to the form. Thank you.